The foundation core for the W and Element Hotel is an exciting milestone. For the past three years, we have been the largest contractor, Tudor Prini, in the Philadelphia market. And obviously, projects like the W Hotel are showcase projects. I mean, everybody's eyes on them. They're in the center city. They're going to have a major impact on the city and its future. And we're just happy to be part of that. And we think these iconic structures are going to serve us well in the future. In the W Hotel, we have created many uh, places for people that are going to be unique guest experiences. In the 51 floors that we have, only 10 of them are repeat floors. Every floor is unique. Structurally, it's been challenging. There are columns and beams that transfer from level to level to meet the client's program requirements. Uh, the planning, the, the, the amount of coordination, the amount of face-to-face -face time on site with all of the people involved. It's been a, just a, a terrific, terrific project to be involved in. And it, it, it's only that type of collaboration that can bring the success that we're, we're going to see. A math foundation is a, a very cost-effective way to do a foundation on a, a small site, a small footprint site like we have. And in our case, there's different thicknesses. Uh, the tower is only on a, a, a smaller portion. There's a, a podium that only goes up 11 stories. So in that case, uh, the mat is five foot six in that area, but underneath the main tower, it's eight foot thick. And then actually on Chestnut Street, there's an area that's nine foot thick. We had many things in this port to, uh, to deal with, ranging from the technicalities on the mix and what we had to do on a structural engineering point of view to the logistics and the labor unions and some of the things that had to come together to make it work. So um, going into this weekend, we were working very closely with the trades councils. We were working very closely with our subcontractors, the structural engineers, right on down to the chemists that actually helped us with the recipe and the formula for the mix that we placed into the ground. I tell you, the, the whole process of getting this together and getting the mats lab started um, is what you really get into. You know, three shifts nonstop. We were here every weekend to get it ready, you know, for the last three weeks. And just that nonstop, the three shifts pushing and it coming together, no injuries, that, that's, what, that's what matters. We're just going to keep pumping it. We've been pumping for about 20 hours now, uh, and we should be pumping for approximately another four to five hours to finish the pour. So what's important to me is thank the people that made it happen. You know, obviously my team and I were, we're proud, we, did it, we, did, we made it happen. We made history, biggest pour ever, but it wasn't just us, we couldn't have done it alone. We couldn't have done it with the help from the Building Trades Council. They were very helpful to us, the City of Philadelphia, the l &I Department, the Police Department, and really the Streets Department too. They're extremely important and they're great partners to us and we need to thank them. And not just them, also our subcontractors. I mean, without them, we couldn't have made that happen. You've seen three shifts of guy rotating through, and we didn't stop until it got done. And it was a big, strong team. And that really is the most important message. This is not about concrete and everything. It's about people making it happen. And we had good people making it happen. You know, everybody knows that there's something unique and special going on here in uh, the city of Philadelphia and that we are part of it. The communication, the coordination between the owner, Cheslin Development, and the developer, Matthew Southwest, we've all worked together to make this an exceptional effort.